Before we can get in and start to use these tools that we discussed in the prior video, we need to activate a couple of them. Power Pivot and Power View should both be installed on your system within Excel, but we just don't have access to them until we activate or turn on the add-in within Excel itself. Now, if any of you have ever used the Solver tool inside of Excel, in order to get access to that, you gotta activate the add-in. Okay, so if you've ever done that before, you're gonna see something similar here. If you've never activated an add-in, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's just a couple button presses, a couple of mouse clicks, and you're done. And then you have some new features you can start to take advantage of inside of Excel. So here on the right hand side, I've got a little PowerPoint slide uh, kind of describing the process and a couple of little windows that you're going to see that will pop open for you. I'm going to walk you through the process here of activating both Power Pivot and Power View within Excel 2013. So I'm going to hop up into my file tab, top left corner of my screen. Uh, inside the file tab, I'm going to go down on the left, I'm going to go down into options opens up my options window and here I'm going to go into add-ins. Inside of add-ins, I've got several things inside of here, several add-ins. Now at the bottom I'm going to manage add-ins, but I'm going to manage not the Excel add-ins, I'm going to manage the COM add-ins. I'm going to go ahead and hit the go button. Inside the COM add-ins window, I'm going to turn on both the uh, power view as well as the power pivot for Excel 2013. Now you'll notice that I've got the uh, power map and power query. I could turn those on right here, uh, but before I have access to those, uh, and I actually did this prior, uh, I had to install them. I had to download a little install from the Microsoft website, install them on my system, which then gives me access to them here. So before I do that, our next video is going to walk you through the steps of downloading these two Power Map and Power Query from the Microsoft website, and then we'll jump into here and you can, you can turn them on or you can turn them off. But for now, I'm going to turn on Power View and Power Pivot. These two are more than likely are already installed on your system. If they're not, uh, you can follow the next little video and see how you can install additional add-ins into your copy of Excel. Uh, but more than likely they're already there so all I'm going to do is just turn the check mark on for both uh, Power Pivot and Power View and I'm going to hit OK. And that's it. I now have a, a new tab at the top of my screen for Power Pivot with all the Power Pivot tools. And if I hop over to the Insert tab, I've got the Power View option as well. They already active for me. So nothing more than that. Again, just to recap, I'm activating both Power Pivot and the Power View add-ins. So we're just going up to File, down to Options, into Add-ins, and remember we're going to manage the COM add-ins. Hit the Go button and we just turn on the two add-ins there. That's it. Give it a try. Pause the video, crack open Excel, hop up to the File tab, hop to Options, go to Add-ins, and let's turn on both the Power Pivot and Power View add-ins. So I'll give you a moment, go ahead and try that out, and then come right back in and we'll see how to activate both Power Map and Power Query.